it's Tuesday the 12th of March 2019. This is your tarot, gemstone tarot. We're using the Turbo Harrow or the Herbal Tarot or whatever you want to call it. Okay, what do we need? To, oh, hello, hello devil. <laughs> we'll see if that pops back up again, shall we? As the actress said to the bishop. Okay. Ooh. So the March readings, as you know, are up. Check out the March readings. And do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check that you have hit the alert button if you want to be alerted when a new video comes up, hopefully. <laughs> or if I do a live reading, you could be alerted an hour later or a day later. Woohoo! It's been ages since that card came up. Oops. Quite intrigued by the energy. Oh. Do you know what, people? This is, well, it's not even the weird thing, is it? You and I both knew that devil card was coming back, didn't we? Yeah. You do that as a tarot reader when you're shuffling, and many of you are tarot readers, so you will know. You're shuffling, you see a card, you think, I don't have the right to pick that card out. I'm going to leave it in the lap of the gods, in the full knowledge it's coming back. Okay. Yesterday we were talking about a situation that was, yeah, there it is, that was kind of in flux. King of Cups in reverse. We had this yesterday in a different tarot pack. And underneath him, the Two of Cups in reverse. And underneath that, the Page of Wands in reverse. And underneath that, <laughs> Wheel of Fortune in reverse. That is a lot of reversals. Now, our reading is not full of reversals, but the energy is. I don't want to bang on about retrograde all the time, but it's really strong for me because it's in my sign. So I'm going to bang on about it a bit more, I'm afraid. There is something reticent about this energy and something about the reduction of a situation, the pulling back of people or things is causing a bit like, and this isn't going to be a good analogy, okay, but a bit like when a lake kind of pulls back and is drained, you get to see the shopping carts and the, um, the old boot and maybe the odd, you know, dead body or whatever is down at the bottom of the lake. Devil in reverse. Now that card, the force is strong with that one because it came out in the shuffle. That is Lobelia, is the herb. And it comes up as Pan. Pan for panic in Greek and everywhere. Pan used to roam about the forest and kind of frighten people and it's that feeling of free-floating anxiety and panic being everywhere, that whole, <laughs> did you like my anxiety thing there? Yeah, exactly, you know what it's like. We all know what it's like. It's in the reverse. It feels like it's being drawn out like a bad tooth, but it's still not the nicest of processes. Then over here, pleurisy root, the three of swords. Nice, that does not sound good. Is pleurisy root poisonous? Let me know. Dark clouds gathering and particularly in this one, the swords wedged right in. Those rusty bad boys, it's like. <coughs> I feel like the three of swords energy is connected to the pan energy and I feel like until things are drawn back, we don't get to see what's at the bottom of the lake. We have that King of Cups energy in reverse, that Page of Wands energy, which is the energy of enthusiastically moving forward. No. Venus in Cancer, peaceful relationships, not right now. King of Cups, lack of boundaries, sometimes uh, alcoholism, but it's not just because it's alcoholism. It's because it's about addiction, codependency, the same as the Devil card, anxiety, 
boundless. It feels like there's no kind of boundary to it. Okay. Seven of Wands, wild ginger. I know. I bet that smells really, really good. Like wild garlic smells. I mean, obviously not the same as that, but okay, Gemma. Wind your neck in. You know what I mean. Seven of Wands is grabbing a big stick and saying, I'm going to fight this. I'm going to defend myself. I'm not standing for this nonsense. I think you probably are standing for this nonsense just right now. It's not the time for fighting, you know. It's um, Four of Swords. Mullane? Mullane. I don't know if that's some kind of sleepy herb. Nice, that's the energy to get into. Four of Swords, it's a four, it's um, it's literally, Abraham Hicks says this, you know, if all else fails, take a nap. If you can't solve it, and to be honest, this week, this situation is thorny. It feels thorny with that Three of Swords and the Two of Cups in reverse. It could be a row, it could be just a feeling of helplessness and upset. A few of you could be dealing with someone who's quite narcissistic and selfish. We've got that old King of Swords in reverse. St. John's Wort, which actually is a very helpful herb. But, you know, as with all of these cards, don't go taking herbs based on my reading, please. I know a couple of people wrote in saying, I'm going to take that herb. I'm not a herbalist. If you listen to my readings regularly, you would know that. Half of these, I don't even know what they are, and I'm relying on you to tell me, okay? So, you know... Take your information from that. St John's Wort, I know, has a lot of healing properties, but also taken in the wrong way. I think it can make you susceptible to sunlight and it makes other medicines ineffective as well. It's quite a powerful thing. King of Swords is quite a powerful thing. And when he's in reverse, reverse, speaks of a selfish character someone who um, can cut off from their emotions. Two of Cups in reverse, some of you are dealing with that in a separation sense, and the Pan, the Devil card, the Three of Swords. Yeah, okay, you get my drift. You get my drifter, as I used to say. Then we have a couple of really interesting cards. One, and thank God for that, we've got the Star, which is a beauty of a card. Skullcap, nice really gorgeous energy here and it's major arcana and in a sense i feel like it kind of trumps that devil but it's a very still very feminine very receptive very wish-based energy the star the person in the star the woman usually it's nearly always if not always and probably there's a few packs that aren't but <clears throat> in general the star like temperance is a female that's the kind of energy to get into. It's quite difficult when you're faced with some of the things that are coming up in this reading. I do get that. But the fight, I'm, I'm not so convinced by that. Then we get Sage, the High Priest. Sage, of course, being... Now, I don't do this, actually, but I know most lots of spiritual people clear a room with Sage. You know, they waft it about. That's my waft kind of Catholic waft and they waft it about tarot cards and things to clear the energies. Personally, I hate the smell of sage, so I don't. And I'm about collecting energies. I think the more energies I collect in my crystals and cards, the more, a bit like, you know, um, a wok. You know with a wok when you're supposed to build up a patina. I'm building up a spiritual patina. That's just the way I work, okay? I'm not recommending it or not recommending it. I'm neither recommending nor not recommending. Double negative, Mercury retrograde. The high priest is the guru or following a system. This would be a good time as far as I'm concerned, and I don't want them, I want them. One moment. This would be a good time to, it's a very squeaky chair, isn't it? To um, find a new philosophical or spiritual system that can help you. I know the other day I talked about Tara Brach. I like Tara Brach. But if I look at Tara Brach on YouTube, there will be suggestions of other people. 
Sometimes algorithms and bots make some really good suggestions. I know some people are funny about it, but again, I find the algorithm and bot energy can be quite spiritual. Oh, I love this. Right, so I just did Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, which is Colette Baron Reed again. And we get the Eagle King, the big picture and spiritual help. There it is, people, the High Priest. I know, or the Hierophant, the big picture and spiritual help. I, that's really apt, actually. That's exactly what I mean. Go big. Don't go small on this energy. It will not help you. Yes. Abundance. Practice abundance. Big picture. Big picture. Okay. Big picture. It is a jumbly reading. It is topsy-turvy again still. Go for the Four of Swords energy. Go for Less is More energy, the star, okay? Acknowledge that the devil is in our midst in whichever sense it is. Panic, anxiety, urgency, Three of Swords, okay? Picking up a big stick with the wild ginger there, the Seven of, um, seven of Wands. Ain't gonna change a thing right now. I know that's really annoying. Get into that bigger picture, okay? And seek the angelic help, whether that is angelic or whether it's, you know, somebody you find on YouTube or somebody you find up the road, whatever it is, there is some kind of thought process, philosophical school or spiritual uh, double-decker bus that you can get on, okay? <laughs> Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check me out on the gram, Gemstone Tarot on the gram. And I'll see you soon. Namaste.